Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. For many companies, inventory is enabled if you create your company file using the Easy Step interview. However, if you did not enable inventory when you initially created your company file, you can enable it at a later point in time. You can enable inventory within your company file and view the default inventory preferences by selecting Edit and then Preferences from the menu bar. In the Preferences dialog box, select Items and Inventory from the scroll box at the left side of the window. To the right, click the Company Preferences tab and make sure that the Inventory and Purchase Orders are Active checkbox is selected to enable inventory related features within your QuickBooks company file. Then set any additional default settings needed for inventory and items. Simply click the OK button when you're finished to set your default inventory preferences. If inventory is enabled, QuickBooks Pro uses the average cost method to determine the value of inventory. QuickBooks cannot use FIFO or LIFO methods. The average cost of the inventory equals the total cost of the items currently in stock divided by the number of items in stock. Now with QuickBooks Pro, you can track the number of items in stock and the value of your inventory after every purchase and sale. As you order, receive, and sell your inventory items, QuickBooks records each inventory related transaction and adjusts the inventory and value accordingly. To track inventory, you must create each item that you want to sell as an inventory part within the item list. QuickBooks tracks the quantity and value as you sell or reorder items only for inventory part items within the item list. You use the item list to add, edit, delete, and inactivate inventory part items. You can display the item list by selecting Lists and then choosing Item List from the menu bar. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.